Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back at it again after a short, like, I think a four day break from ALS. Planned to go for like another, like, an extra few days. I still haven't been as active in questions, but you know, that, that is how it is. And this update, this is the Kaiju update. And a uh, Kaiju number eight, I guess, specifically. And there's a new event Hunters, Dragons. Now, I've, I've been playing the Dragons, but you cannot select teams. When when you log in, they will be they, they will be randomly assign you. So you you could be hunters, you could be dragons. It's all RNG. Now in this one, there's there is a new battle pass, and the battle pass is earned by how many points your team gets. To get said points, you complete these quests, these dragon quests, or I guess hunters quests also work. And these quests are done. Uh, they they don't have an actual time. Because uh, this, is, this is just because I haven't claimed this one yet. But once you've claimed both quests here, uh, two new quests will show up. So that's nice. There's also a new shop where all the new evil items are. And you can buy some rerolls here as well if you have excess materials and stuff. And there is talk about, uh, I guess, 24 hours just for the rerolls. So if you're grinding for all this, you probably just get uh, like 10 rerolls a day, more or less. Which ain't bad either. And the winning team, uh, from, from this thing, because this is a team-based one, um, you will get a, an exclusive unit from this event. But if you're on top 100 of the winner or loser team, um, you, you will be able to get an, another exclusive unit. Now, we don't know what these units are. It could just be a shinier version. It could be an entirely new unit. Again, I don't know anything. I just got back into the game, like, more or less yesterday. So I'm still very much new to this. Now, because of this, they do have a battle pass or premium one. I don't think you should buy it. I really don't think you should buy it if you do plan on buying it. But you know what you should buy, though? This battle pass. This battle pass is so much better. It get, it's, it's so much easier to grind, too. It only needs kills, and it gives you so much rerolls. Like a hundred, like hundred seventy or eighty, which is a lot for like the price of the robux. Which I mean, I guess of course you don't have to, but whoever has it is just, whoa, that's just beautiful. And there's of course new units. Now they say there's five. Oh no, yeah, five banner units, but and one secret crawl. Okay, I guess there's more stuff here. Um, but I don't know where the five banner units are. I've only seen. This one that I see here right now, that's one. One over here, that's two. And three. And then there's one more that I know I have. Uh, which would be the division captain. Uh, this is the vice captain. And then I have the, the division captain. This is the other guy. And this is officer. I don't know who the fifth unit is. But yeah. They all Evo. And they all Evo. You can either craft the Evo items here. Um, right over, right around here, or as or as earlier, uh, get them from the event event shop. But to to craft them, you would need to collect and defeat. I guess just as usual, clear out secret portals. Now this new secret portal, you get it from I guess the way I got it was from Infinite of the new map, which is called the Ruined City. There's now a new map. With six more acts and more stuff for you to do. And yes, this one is, I think, in the, already in the quest logs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's already here. So that means if you have it, you... Oh, oh yeah, yes, good. yes, yes, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, there is one thing that I will say. Um, and it's that this update, I actually am not fully sure about how good the secret portal unit is, because I don't have them yet. Or how good any any of the other units are. I'm I'm only basing off my information of the tier list and what I've heard, and it seems most of them, at least most of them, are deep, but much better in, in infinite more than progressive. So like, you, if you see my team currently, this is like not the meta meta progressive, but like very much up there for meta progressive teams, or at least maybe too much progressive because I have like, three starters, technically four if you count Rengoku and Tanjiro Evo. Yeah, that's a lot. But of course, there's also one other thing. The Infinity Castle, where there's a new season with new rewards, 
And a lot of people have already gotten this, because, some, because you know, all this. And also, I don't know why this is says Season 1. It should say Season 2. But um, in here, you can also get rerolls every five floors now. So every, like, after you beat the fifth room, every five rooms, you get rerolls, which is not bad at all. And also now, if you were to, like, you, you click a portal, you don't have to go back to the lobby. You can, while, after you win, you can click view portals and just go to another portal from there. So you don't have to, like, have the problem with, oh, you're joining a private server. You can just lead suit with everyone else but that, that was in that current portal party to the next portal. Next tier five or whatever, which is very, which is very, very nice to know. Now, am I missing any other info? Hmm, I don't think I'm missing too much else. Obviously, all the new codes you can check in the Discord. Questions in the pin messages. Most of my information currently I get is from there, and the tier list and the DPS charts for it to base on some info. And I think that's about it. Yeah. That's about all that I know of, at least, from just being like a day of playing again, collecting some info. There are no new raids or raid units. The only only new ones are like, there's a new story map, which I don't think it dropped anything, as far as I know. So, the new story, just a new story for you to be able to do infinite to get the secret portals. New summon banner units that can evo to... I think I've heard some pretty good units too, like some pretty, like at least some meta units, which is very nice. And there's also a new Infinity Castle for you to grind for. I probably will do this at some point. And there's also a new Battle Pass. And of course, the big main event, the Hunters vs. Dragons event. So yeah, there's a lot going on right now. And this will only last for, this thing specifically will only last for like another 10 days. Well, I think, how long will this last for? This will last for another like six days. So this will so summer will end first, and then this will still go on for a few more days after. Which is fair. That's fair enough. At least if they update at least. So yeah. Good luck to everyone. Hope you lot uh get lucky in the in the rolls and good luck grinding getting the new units. Uh tier list update, I don't know when. It's really it, I really don't know when because I still don't have pain. <laughs> still don't have pain. So I don't know, but yeah, that's about it for this update, this summary of the Kaiju number 8 update, and yeah, have a good time grinding everybody, Bye bye